I mean, the way that we think about sort of cross-platform investments at large is that there's a foundational layer and then there's an adaptive layer, right? So Norm Johnston, one of the things that he talks about is this sort of adaptive marketing approach. And we look at television as something that always has to be a part of the mix. It's a foundational component of delivering reach and frequency and exposure to an audience. But then the way that we think about the world today is very adaptive. People change their behaviors, they're moving, they're consuming content in different ways. And that's what digital allows you to do, right? So you to be able to use data and move at the speed of culture. So that's a big part of what we're looking to do and, and how we think about this sort of evolving mix of both traditional formats as well as digital formats. There was a gentleman yesterday from a &E who made a really good point and he was asked, do you think about programmatic as a way towards efficiency? And his response, I thought, really represented the way that we think about programmatic at Mindshare and that programmatic delivers efficiency across a few things process, right, transactions, as well as targeting, okay? So I don't think there's a large conversation about programmatic and cost efficiency anymore. The goal is we're moving fast, we've got a lot of data to manage, and we've got large audiences that we need to scale and target, and removing a lot of the clutter uh, that holds back your transactional efforts really gives you more power. So we've looked at programmatic as a way to both attach premium inventory, open exchange inventory, and the like, but the core focus is really trying to make us much more efficient at how we target our audiences and deliver value for our clients. People have told us that they consume content and they engage with media in different ways. So part of what we have to figure out is the right place and time for variant metrics. An example of that being the things that you see happening on a Snapchat, right? Is that a reach play? Is that a frequency play? We're not sure, but we know one thing's for certain. And that's that when people are involved in that type of environment, they're very engaged, right? So thinking about how you use complementary metrics to really give you value. But in our session yesterday about making sense of measurement, what we talked about was starting with an endpoint, which is what are the business outcomes you want to achieve? And I think that kind of gives you a North Star to how you want to balance your metrics.